Hi, I'm Jazzy Ray here, and I'm here for a birth chart reading. Um, actually, this is going to be a little different. This is a couple's reading. Um, this um, person um, wanted to know if she's compatible with her boyfriend. And if you guys would like birth chart readings or um, couple readings, um, just hit me up. Um, everything is in the description. Um, right now they are free because I'm just I'm just now getting back into it. Um, but donations are greatly appreciated. Um, and I'm gonna try to make this quick because I've been struggling to record this. My camera's been acting stupid. So anyway, um, universe, please guide me to um, conduct this birth chart reading, this couple's reading to see if these two are really compatible. Alright, so you're a Aries. He is Leo Virgo, which means he's a cusp because of his birthday. Um, and keep in mind, when you want when you want to find out if you're compatible in a relationship, you want to look at your sun, moon, and Venus because sun is who we are. The uh, moon is how we, it's our emotions, how we express our emotions. And um, your Venus is what attracts you and how you love. So... Um, anyway, your son is Aries, his son is Leo Virgo, your moon is Gemini, his moon is Sagittarius, and your Venus is, or the exact same as your sign, so your Venus is Aries, and his Venus is Leo. So, I will include Mercury, your Mercury is Pisces, his Mercury is Leo, but that's not really what you want to pay attention to. But I will include that. Um, may may give you some insight. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the sun sign. Um, with Aries. Um, Aries. You think because Leo and Aries are both fire signs that automatically makes them compatible? That's not always the case. Um, though they are the same sign, same element. Be it makes them similar, but it doesn't make them the same. Aries has a cardinal quality. Leo has a fixed quality. Cardinal just means, you know, hard working. They put a lot of energy, a lot of energy active. Okay? They put a lot of energy into everything that they do. Um, that's Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. Those are cardinal qualities who put energy and time into everything that they do, everything that they, they pursue, with, with, whether it's a relationship, a job, education, being a parent. They put blood, sweat, and tears into it. Fixed quality just means they're stuck in their ways. They plan everything out. They're strategic. Um, they can be a bit closed until they have to be open to something or until they reach the point and they want to try something new it's not always easy for it takes fixed qualities a long time to kind of what's the word i'm looking for settle when like react or adjust adjust it takes them a while to adjust to change so that's leo taurus scorpio and aquarius Okay, um, Virgo is a mutable quality, which means they are they can adapt and adjust to change so easy. They're always changing. You got to keep up with a mute, mutable quality. So that would be Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, and Sagittarius. And looking at his chart, he kind of like in the middle as far as like when it comes to Sun, Moon, and Venus. Even Mercury, he's somewhere in the middle, maybe, because he does have Virgo and Sagittarius. Um, but because of the Leo, he could still be a little stuck, okay? And with you, you're definitely, you can definitely bend, for sure, and you just work hard. You just put a lot of effort, because you have Aries and Gemini, so you can definitely... You're definitely more, you're more cardinal, but you're able to bend the rules. And he may, he could probably bend the rules, but he may struggle with 
bending the rules. But anyway, um, so that's one thing. Two, Aries planet is Mars, and Mars is a planet of aggression and anger and sex, and his planet is the sun. But also because of Virgo, he's ruled by two planets. The planet is the sun, that's Leo's planet, and then Virgo is Mercury, the planet of communication. Which means he could be a, a good communicator to some sort, to a degree, because of that Leo right there. <laughs> so, to a degree, he could be a good um, conversator, maybe. Um, so, um, that's another thing. Uh, and also, Aries and Leos have a different. They have different reasons why they do things or why they the way that they are. Aries has a leadership mentality. They are the leaders of the Zodiac. They are straightforward and to the point. They're quick, quick learners. They multitaskers. Like they, they, they put quality into everything that they do. So when you're at work, you probably are the one who who doesn't like to. You probably don't even really work people work with people that well because it's like Aries. It's like everything's has has to be done right and it has to be the best okay you know so it's it, 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 you probably do work well with people but only if people are, are willing to want the same goal the best you know what i mean um with leos they have to let people know that they're the star so it's like with aries it's like you want to do the best job in a group and he wants to be the star. So, Aries doesn't really care about being the superstar. Aries doesn't care. Aries cares about working hard. You know? So, I feel like y'all both probably have different goals. He probably wants to be just well-known and popular. Social butterfly. He wants to everyone to know... That he is the light and he is the sun. And you want people to know that you're a hard worker. So, it's kind of like it's the same thing, but it's really not. So, I feel like y'all probably got different goals, maybe. Or similar goals. Semi similar goals. Um, with the Virgo, now this is where it's like, okay, it could be the same. Virgos are hard workers. They are perfectionists. They don't play when it comes to their craft. And if you insult their craft, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> so, he's definitely a perfectionist. I, I, I think, I feel like with Aries, with you, that may not be a problem. Because I feel like you could be a perfectionist too. Because you're a hard worker. And Virgos are just naturally like that because they're analyzers, you know. So he definitely probably analyzes situations and, and and projects and things like that. And he wants it to be perfect. Also, he wants it to be the best because he's the superstar, you know. Yeah, it has to be high quality because he's the superstar. So I feel like in a relationship, I feel that... That may not be an issue as long as, like, you both are working hard. I think what he wants, because the thing is, like, with Leos is they want the attention. They have to have the attention. It's kind of like cancer, like dating a cancer almost. Except cancer just wants to be underneath you while Leos just wants the attention. And with Aries, because Aries is so hardworking... Sometimes you may not be available to get the attention, you know. I mean, you do it because you want the relationship to last, but it has to be something to motivate you to want to give him that attention. Like, is he fun? Is he hardworking? Is he is he confident, you know? Because if he's not putting any effort into the relationship, then you're not going to put any effort into it either. You're not going to work hard at it because it's like, what's the point? If he's not working hard... I'm not going to work hard. Now that Virgo in him is also going to do whatever it takes for the relationship. But this is the difference. Like Aries, Aries will do whatever they have to do to make a relationship work. 
Virgos want to please their partner. You see, like, like it's just in them to just please their partner. And if he's trying, 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 and you're still like, nah, I'm not satisfied, then he's probably going to end up like, you know what? It's you. It's not me. Because I'm doing everything I can do. Because I'm the perfect lover. I'm perfect. You know, Virgos think, you know, they're, they're perfectionists. So it's like, I'm perfect. I know what I'm doing and it's not wrong. Because I feel good, but you don't. So I don't know what's going on. And with Aries, I feel like Aries could, can't appreciate that. But this is the problem when it comes. I feel like him being a people pleaser or just, you know, that could get on your nerves. Aries it can get on Aries nerves because Aries that that kind of looks like like Virgo will literally transform themselves to become the person their partner they think their partner wants them to be and Aries doesn't like that Aries wants a partner that has his own mind or her own mind and who's confident which is what attracted you to Leo in the first place but that Virgo in him is like okay maybe if I act like this maybe she'll like me more Maybe I'm doing something wrong, and maybe it, it, it's like Aries doesn't like that. And plus, Aries is bold. Like Aries will let you know, like this ain't working. You know, like no, be yourself. Cause Aries is confident, and they want a partner like that. They want to meet their equal. They don't want anyone beneath them, and they don't want anyone above them. Leo, I'm not gonna say they don't want people beneath them but I'm not gonna say they do you get my drift because as long as you know that they're the star of the show or at least they think they're the star of the show then it'll work out you know <laughs> um but Virgo doesn't mind hiding hiding behind the scenes sometimes so you just gotta know which way he gonna go because he can go either way with that cuss cuss Cuffs people, people who are born in the cuffs, they're a little confusing to figure out because they're two signs. So it's like you just gotta know how each sign operates. Then you know, okay, that's his Virgo. That's the Virgo in him. Or, okay, that's the Leo in him. You know, you just gotta figure that out. Now, I wanna talk about your moon because they're polar opposites. So, how Geminis are when it comes to their emotions. Geminis, if they feel some type of way, they're not going to sugarcoat it. And they're not going to... One thing they're not going to do is they're not going to hide it. Now, sometimes... I take that back. I said they're not going to sugarcoat it. Sometimes Geminis do sugarcoat. But they they do tell... They do, they do express how they feel. Depending on the mood that they're in, they may sugarcoat it. But if they're really, like, ticked off, then they're not going to sugarcoat it. But bottom line is, they have, if when you have Moon, I mean Gemini in your chart, or Gemini as, uh, or if you are a Gemini, they gotta get it out. Even if it's inappropriate, even if it hurts your feelings, they have to let it out. Sagittarius is, they're similar to Gemini's, but different, okay? So since they're polar opposites, it's like, in the emotions department, it could work, but it may not. You just have to realize that he, he might express himself a little differently than you. So, for example, Sagittarius don't like serious situations. And it's mainly because I call them the runaways. Because they run away from their problems. They run away from everything. So he's probably the type of person who doesn't really deal with his emotions, emotions like that. Because maybe he doesn't look at as his emotions as too serious. He probably just lets it go. So he, you might be expressing how you feel to him. And he may brush it off. Like, it's not even that serious. Like, you're tripping for nothing. I think, you, I think you're thinking too, too deeply here. I think you're being too serious. You need to calm down. But I feel like when he expresses to you... He's gonna, he, let me tell you something, Sagittarius is, when you have Sagittarius in your chart, you're blunt. You're very blunt. You don't sugarcoat nothing if you have Sagittarius in your chart. So when he's expressing his emotions, not only is he being honest, but he's being brutally honest. And it, it could hurt your feelings, you know. But 
I know with me, I had a friend who was a Sag. Anytime when she was blunt to me, I kind of knew how to handle it. It did come off as harsh, but I knew how to handle it. So I feel like you probably know how to handle the emotions, but you're probably like, wow, like that was a bit harsh, but okay, I understand what you're, where you're coming from. But with him, he might be like, you're being too serious, like calm down. Because they don't like, Sag just don't like stuff like that. Like if he's angry, he probably works out, he probably plays the game, he probably um, listens to music. Because he's going to run away. He leaves the situation alone. Whereas with Gemini, Geminis don't do that. After a situation, I'm a Gemini. So it's like, we, if we, if we know something's up, we have to, we got to find out details. If we're really interested in knowing what's going on with our partner, we got to find out details, proof, all type of stuff that he ain't no good or she ain't no good. Whereas Sag will just leave. Like, like that's it. Like, the minute they get that, that, that urge that something's not right, they're going to leave. And that's it. No explanation. No nothing. So, I feel like when it comes to the emotions, you're definitely one, because Geminis are analyzers as well. Mental analyzers. Um... And Sag Sagittarius are mental too. It's kind of like Sagittarius should have been an air sign, not a fire sign. They're very passionate when it comes to them, which is why they're so blunt. But sometimes fire signs come off as selfish, which is what I wanted to bring up when I was talking about the sun sign, your sun signs, because I feel like Aries can be selfish when it comes to their way of thinking. Aries have a me first attitude, not a it's only me attitude, me first, which means you come first, your partner comes second. You see what I'm saying? And with him, it's all about me. That's him, because Leos have that, it's all about me. I come first because it's all about me. You come first with Aries, it's because you're a leader, not a follower. But because of that Virgo that he has in the sun, you can come first in certain situations. In certain situations, you come first, he comes second um, when it comes to him. But in other situations, he could come first because it's all about him. Um, so they both can have their selfish moments, especially Leo's. Um, and then when it comes to Moon, I'm not going to say Geminis are selfish. Geminis are not really selfish, you know. Think about the wind. The wind blows everything away, not just one thing. And you got to think with fire, fire wants all the attention. The sun wants all the attention. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say with fire signs, they kind of come off as a bit selfish. And I feel like when him, when it comes to the emotions, I feel like he probably could be selfish when it comes to... Um, how you feel about certain things and maybe in certain situations because you care about you put yourself first it kind of looks like you're coming off as selfish but really you're just putting yourself first in the situation and you probably have to put yourself first I actually believe in putting yourself first anyway because <laughs> people can't be trusted but you know um Anyway, like I was saying, you know, the selfishness. I feel like he probably could be a little selfish when it comes to how you feel about certain things. And it could just be because he probably doesn't know how to deal with his emotions. Or probably doesn't want to deal with his emotions. He'd rather just move on to the next thing. Because that's what Sagittarius do. That's what, if you have Sagittarius in your chart, you tend to do that a lot. Um, and then your Venus, which is pretty much the same as your um, sun sign. And his is also the same. So, what attracted you to him, I would say, is his confidence. He could have been cocky. And the fact that he's bold. He's his own person. Um, maybe it's the fact that he works hard. But not for the same reason why you work hard. <laughs> um, maybe he's full of life and full of energy and... He's, he's probably um, young at heart, you know. And I feel like what attracted... And he's very charismatic. And I feel like what attracted him to you was the fact that you're hardworking, you're confident, you have your own mind, you're strong-minded, um, and uh, playful. Maybe you have a sense of healthy competitiveness because Aries are, like, very competitive. I feel like that definitely... That could have attracted him. 
um, to you. And maybe you're very sweet and caring and loyal, you know. But I will say that it could be an issue, the competitiveness and the dominance, because Aries doesn't like to be taken control of or being controlled. And Air and Leo doesn't like to be control being in control. I mean he Leos don't like to be controlled either. In fact they look like both of you y'all love love to be dominant. So I feel like um that could pose an issue who's in charge and who's really running the show. Now because he is a Virgo as well, it may be times where he may just let you just go ahead and just run the show. You know, he might let you go ahead and do what you do and and, and whatever. But he may have his moments where he may put his foot down and be like, I'm taking I'm controlling this, not you. Not you. Because he's the star. You you gotta he, he and not only that, if if you degrade and demean him or if he feels degraded, he's not gonna like that because Leos don't like to be degraded. No one likes to, but Leos take it very harshly if they're degraded because they they are like, come on, they're the star. You can't degrade the star, you know what I mean? And Aries doesn't like to be degraded because they're hard workers. And they don't play that and they're competitive. But I feel like you probably take a lot of things out on yourself. Like if he makes you feel bad about something, because like I said, Leos are bold. They're, they could be blunt too. I feel like you probably take that out on yourself. You don't necessarily take it out on him. I think you take it out on yourself more. His Aries do that. You probably do take it out on him, but I don't know. <laughs> but that could be an issue with you guys. And I just feel like you probably do have like your, I don't want to say selfish. But I feel like you have your reasons why you may put yourself first. And for him, it's the if he put himself first, it's just for the sake of the fact that I don't know him. So it's like, I mean, I don't know either one of you, but I feel like for him... It's because I'm the star. That That's pretty much it. I'm the star. I'm the star. I'm the star. I'm the star. I'm not going to lower myself. And with Aries, it's like, I got to do better. I got to get better. I got to get back right. You know? It's like y'all got this. Y'all do things similar. It's like y'all do the same things, but y'all do it for different reasons. Now, as far as your Mercury goes, first of all, you're probably a spiritual person, a very spiritual person, because you have Pisces in your chart. Pisces love to talk about their fantasies and spiritual things and art. And you're probably someone who talks to him. You probably talk to him about doing your hair and doing different styles and stuff. His is Leo. Now, Pisces is immutable quality. So one minute, it's like you might want to talk and communicate with him. Next minute, you might not want to. You know? You probably want to be alone, and, and, and you might want to pray or something, or you might not want to pray. I don't know. Him, his is Leo, so his conversations can be stuck. He likes to boast about his accomplishments, um, how much money he got, um, um, what name brands he's wearing. <laughs> and he's probably going to talk about himself, and he wants a partner who's not afraid to do that you know so his he, he might come off a bit cocky in his conversations um arguments can be passionate pisces are very emotional so that might be a bit much for you possibly like like pisces are very sensitive so he could probably say some things and because he got sagittarius in his chart as well he could say some things that could possibly hurt your feelings and when you got Gemini and Pisces working together, it's like Gemini might want to cuss, cuss them out, you know, because we don't play that. But Pisces might want to cry, cry while cussing them out. <laughs> so you put those two together and there you go. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I hope I answered all your questions. If you want to know if y'all are sexually compatible, I will do a video on that. All you have to do is just ask me. Um, if you want a, a numerology report, like, I could do, like, your life path numbers and, like, just do a report and see if really y'all supposed to be together or not. And I'll recommend you to talk to one of my friends. She does tarot reading. So, you can literally just tell her that, um, Jazzy Ray or Jasmine recommended me. Or, yeah, you, you know, you could do that. 
and she'll um she'll video chat you so she can show you the cards and stuff like that and um yeah so i hope that helps you know but if you want another if you want like i said sexual reading or i would just say this i feel like as long as y'all willing to get over the 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 the, the um the, the 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 leadership thing and you're you're able to like understand each other's emotions especially if he puts forth more effort to understand your emotions and not be so selfish when it comes to that and sometimes i feel like if you kind of think like a libra like partnership you know which is your op that's your polar op pol Ugh, that's your polar opposite so i feel i feel like if you if you start thinking us first instead of me first in some situations it could work out but if he's still selfish you know not really being considerate and things like that i would say let it go let it go and, and find somebody else <laughs> Because Leos have that. Leos and Sagittarius is like, they can be inconsiderate at times. They really can. And plus, with Sagittarius in his chart, he probably, d does he go out a lot? Because I, 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 get, I get that vibe that he probably goes out a lot. And he don't be telling you where you're going. And ain't like he doing nothing. Like he's not, he ain't doing nothing wrong. He just don't know how to sit down. <laughs> you know? sit down somewhere he's probably always doing stuff he's probably have multiple jobs in his life like two jobs at one time you know i'm just saying that's that's both sagittarius i meet mean. and leo's um they want to be the center of attention and the stars and all of that so like i said at least if y'all willing to work at it it, it 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 could be the chain you know you just gotta work at it you know just realize that you know y'all 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 are so Y'all are like similar. Y'all do the same things, but y'all do them for different reasons. That's the that's the vibe I'm getting. So hopefully, like I said, that helps. But um, yeah, I'll see you. I see you. Bye.